wasn't really a game changer because the game was over by the time it came in. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, it came at uh, a moment when obviously we were at desperation at that point in time and uh, a difficult situation for us because obviously down to 10 men and uh, we had to be very careful not to lose another goal because our head-to-head -head record with Hungary is such that at 1-0, uh, should we finish level on points, that would be enough. Our head-to-head -head record would have taken us through. So we had to, you know, it was difficult because the likes of Gareth and Johnny are wanting to go up front and they're pushing and you say, <laughs> we can't afford to take the chance and then suddenly you lose the game 2-0. Um, well, I have to say, my whole time in football, I've, I've never seen a player booked twice um, in that situation. I mean, the referee said that Chris was booked for the first instance higher up the pitch. There's no doubt he should be booked for the second instance, but the player doesn't know that he's been booked for the first instance. So if he knows he's been booked for the first instance, he won't make the tackle. So the referee in playing advantage, um, you know, he doesn't alert the player and tell him you're gonna be booked for that. So I think it was a really, really unusual decision. I'm not gonna um, pretend that I know the rules well enough to say whether it's legitimate or, 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 or not. But I think that, uh, you know, it was a very, very, very harsh decision. You know, I look at, you know, I mean, the number 20, well, he was aptly had number 20 on his back because he had about 20 fouls throughout the night, you know. So, I mean, if you're looking at re repeat fouling and, that, and this type of thing, uh, you know, I just think that at times, you know, t for a player to be sent off for that is, you know, it, it, it could cost us a place in, in, in the finals, you know, that, that type of thing. And I think that... You know, we need to look at that very closely. And as I say, Chris apologised in the dressing room as he always would because he's he's a man and he came forward. I thought in the game again, he had a magnificent game for us. And um, it was just, you know, I think a really bizarre decision that ultimately could have cost us. But I think it's testament to the players' character and spirit that they didn't allow it to. You know, I think it was, I think it's an, you know slightly unrealistic for us to be disappointed because we haven't qualified after eight games. You know, let's be honest. I don't think Spain have qualified yet, so I think we'll be okay as long as we're we're still in the mix, you know.